Hey guys, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, basically, I got my computer to run again, but I'm using a 450 watt power supply instead of that 850. Um, I'm not able to run my 4890, at least one of the 4890s, because um, the uh, power supply isn't strong enough or it isn't able to supply enough power for the uh, for those video cards but I got it to work with my 4850 um, I want to give a shout out to Bad Hate Me who uh, he's one of uh, my subscribers um, you should check out his stuff because he's got this really badass uh, Cosmo setup I mean it's really nice much nicer than mine <laughs> but um, yeah check him out He's the one who actually um, told me that the uh, 600 watt power supply that I had in this computer that I now have in my 480 or 840, excuse me, my 840 uh, was sufficient enough to power my, the uh, Crossfire setup as well as the uh, two Raptor hard drives that I have in here. So I just wanted to admit that I was wrong. <laughs> 850 is, is uh, a bit overkill. But um, in my defense, uh, 850 should should be well enough for me to upgrade this for uh, future video cards or hard drives or anything else I want to add to this. So, uh, you know, 850 is overkill. It was about 180 bucks for the uh, for that power supply. So I could have used it for something else, but it was sort of an investment or something like that. Um, other reason why I made the video is that I got, I finally got these fans in. These are the 230 millimeter fans. The large, uh, these are red LED fans from Cooler Master. I had to actually go to the CM store, which uh, Rick Arter suggested on one of his uh, YouTube videos to check out. Um, because I could not find these fans anywhere I mean absolutely nowhere online um, they were either out of stock or they just didn't sell it because I'm not sure if you know this but uh, 230 millimeters it's almost as far as I know it's proprietary toward uh, Cooler Master uh, cases um, I know they carry 200 millimeters and things like that but the 230 is Cooler Master only so you're pretty much stuck getting these um, if you want them to light up or something like that. Um, these do light up brighter than the, the uh, I think I have six, yeah, six uh, 120 millimeter uh, red LED fans that I have in the ATC right, ATCS right now. But um, I think I'm going to make a video and probably attach it to this, this video after I get these installed so you can see how much they actually light up the case and everything. It should look pretty cool. And uh, that's about all I can think of right now. Um, leave comments, good or bad, doesn't matter. I'll try to respond to them as uh, quickly and as accurately as I can. Um, you, you subscribers, all of you guys have really, really um, been so positive for me. I'm actually surprised because um, I always thought my setup was kind of. I wouldn't say juvenile, but um, very simple, very simple for um, compared to a lot of other builds that people have. I mean, these other people have have just completely amazing, amazing setups. And um, I don't know, mine's mine's simple, but um, you know, I, I just try and be different. But uh, yeah, I guess that's that's about all I have to say. Oh, one more thing. Um, the uh, the, L the fans that I have in here, I am going to replace with uh, white LED Rosewill fans. So all of these fans that you see in here, I'm going to replace, and then decide later whether I want to keep my uh, white cold cathode tube in here or not, or take it out. It depends how how nice it looks when I have those uh, LED fans in. Um, if it looks like crap, though, I'll take them out and just put these these uh, white fans back in. But um, eh, that's about all I can think of saying. So I'll just uh, say uh, see you, see you later, guys.